is Nina, aka Sekafu, and today I'm here with. My name is Kevin. I'm the general manager of Number One Kazoku in San Diego. I'm so excited because this is quality, quality food, and I'm so excited to learn more about what is behind the scenes. So I'm going to start off by asking, what is your story, and how did you come to be? The restaurant is owned by uh, pretty much a family, uh, two brothers. They envisioned this sort of family-like establishment to provide amazing food, service, and environment for our customers. So that's why we call it number one Kazoku. Kazoku means family in Japan, Japanese. But these brothers have definitely traveled, tried all kinds of food. They have me come here and just kind of put something together for them to sort of just amaze our local <laughs> customers. Yeah. I love that. And was it mostly started because of that key research for the fish that you guys use? Or um, was it just kind of built along the way as you made your menu? Definitely built along the way. We did like a lot of trial and error and finding the right team, making up the right menu. We have a set menu, then we have a menu that changes every week to bring the freshest, the one the seafood are seasoned. We come here one week and have akayaga, which is the uh, recommended fish from Japan, and the next week we'll have this Japanese grouper ready for you to try. It's always going to be overnight to us, super fresh, made by one of our three of our chefs. <laughs> earlier that each of their chefs are from different areas and it's just amazing of how the mastery has already yeah, taken yeah. in. We had really good luck with finding the right people to fit our team. Most of my staff has been with us for a very long time. Chef-wise, we have people from New York, Las Vegas, Beverly Hills, everywhere. And my team is able to provide a very diverse menu for our customers. This season we get our amberjack from Hawaii, Madai from Japan, yellowtail from Japan. Then we have our specialty fish that we get from Japan also. Not just seafood, even meat products. We have our Miyazaki uh, A5 ribeye cut wagyu. We do uh, a white truffle yakitori. Or we do a four ounce steak, dry rub over the grill. Amazing. When you guys started obviously with COVID, how has it been for you all? I think everybody's going through the same thing. It's been challenging. The opening one week, the closing one week, that was tough. They announced it one day, and then we will we, will, we have to shut down like a day, like two and a half weeks. That was definitely tough. Yeah, that's, that's rough. But you were doing takeout too. So. We had to kind of shrink down our menu oh, a little bit yeah. because it was very hard to ship items over from Japan during the Time. We were able to get like once or maybe twice. I mean, not only that, the uh, types of seafood that we normally would get, we weren't able to get because you know the fish market was closed in Japan. Yeah. Fishmen weren't going out as much. Because yeah. if the fish market closed down, we are pretty much closing down ourselves. We shrunk our menu down and we focused on the popular items. A lot of time we would just, if we sell out, then we sold out. That allows us to make sure that our fish is always fresh. <laughs> it is better to sell out of items than to keep them for a long time. Yeah. Of course, my chef, my team, plan, try to plan as much further ahead as possible to yeah. make sure that we, we are receiving these items when we need them. But definitely, it was tough. It was tough. I didn't uh, really see that. You have to be really meticulous, like they all, yes. like with your line, the line of restaurants. Right, too. right. All my team's part, they did great job communicating with each other. We were able to get the items that we need and in time so we could see our customers. Yeah, we always want to keep them fed. <laughs> yes, yes. That was our main focus during the pandemic. It wasn't really just you know about running business. We were just really getting some fantastic food to our customers. It's one thing to always have to eat out of a box, but we want to put the best stuff in that box. We want to open that box and be like, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely like impressed too. Like if you guys could only see the presentation in person, I can only imagine too like a takeout. It would be like, what are like some of your a lot of people come here for our bluefin. A bluefin, we have bluefin from Spain. The toro is amazing. We actually have a diff couple of different cuts of toro. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows whole toro is the belly cut. Um, you have the chew toro, which is half back, half belly. But we also provide kama toro, which is the front part, the collar. Mm -hmm. That part has the 
and that content is. With the Kamatoro, you'll see it just like a fresh cut raw pork, like that pink color. It's super amazing. <laughs> also, every week we, we get in uh, different seafood from Japan. Those are usually like the first ones to go. I was surprised earlier because Kamatoro was showing me their Instagram with all the different types of fish that they introduced to everyone. And literally, I have never seen some of the fish before. No. <laughs> it's so crazy. From our regular menu, I would say that our miso sea bass is very popular. <laughs> they do a white miso marination and then they bake it. They do also a Japanese brown rice on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Lay the sea bass on the top and they do a honey glazed shiitake mushroom sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's so much like impact for me to like <laughs> yeah. They do change their menu every week, but what are some of the new things in the future for your restaurant? Our next specialty thing we're gonna do is so for Mother's Day and Father's Day. A chef will custom make a omakase menu, usually 10 courses. And with that, uh, you know, a special price, we usually do a discount price, plus one course of dessert. Dessert? Yeah. What's your dessert menu? The chef's been doing, trying new items. I think our newest, very, very popular dessert right now is the ube mochi. Yum. <laughs> we do a black sesame ice cream with ube mochi on top. Oh and chocolate God, cookies. <laughs> That's cool. We try to come up with these specialty items mm -hmm. for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So people can come in and just not worry about what to order and they will get the best of the best. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing, pretty special. I love that. Do you have any message to your loyal followers that you want to share? I just want to thank everyone for supporting our business. It's been a crazy year. We appreciate everyone coming through, ordering takeout, um, and, and just kind of being patient and waiting for us to open. And I hope to see everyone soon. And yeah, come visit us soon. <laughs> yes, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And Again, my name is Nina, aka Cycle Food, and this is in collaboration with Big Benny, my fam, who is an awesome, awesome app that you should check out for more info of where to get the best food. And again, we are with... My name is Kevin, General Manager at Nimble and Kazoku. Yes. You can check out our uh, Instagram page, n1kazoku, or uh, n1k.sgv. We have two accounts. Check out the pictures, definitely like us, follow us. <laughs> and I'll put all the links down below so you guys can always check it out and you can make a reservation today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you guys later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs>